The Cuban flag has been raised in Washington, D.C. for the first time in 54 years. The U.S. and Cuba have finally restored diplomatic ties, putting aside decades of hostility. It was a day to celebrate, but differences between the nations remain. North America correspondent Michael Vincent reports. The march of time has brought change for a new Cuban generation. The flag that came down in January 1961 has been raised once again five decades later. Supporters of the communist regime were out in force. Opponents of the Castros were there as well. It was President Obama who began this thawing in relations and inside the reopened embassy he was thanked as was another man. We have made it here today thanks to the firm and wise leadership of Fidel Castro. At the US State Department, the Cuban flag was formally reinstalled. Of course, this milestone does not signify an end to differences that still separate our governments. But it does reflect the, the reality that the Cold War ended long ago. The scene in Havana was low-key. For now, there's no new signs or even American flags visible. Just Cubans happy to line up for American visas. This is magnificent. It's very special. This news is so big. I hope it's a great blessing. In the US capital, the joy is shared. After 50 years, the first time our flat is in the sky, so definitely it's beautiful. It was the dying days of the Dwight Eisenhower administration that the Cuban flag last flew in the US capital. The question now is how many more US presidents will it take to lift the embargo and how soon will Cuba improve its human rights record? Michael Vincent, ABC News, Washington.